Hello fellow students, nice to see you again. Miss Gan today is here to talk about additional mathematics form 4 KBSM. This is your textbook. Let's look into the chapters. Chapter 1, Functions. Chapter 2, Quadratic Equations. Chapter 3, Quadratic Functions. Chapter 4, Simultaneous Equations. Chapter 5, Indices and Logarithms. Chapter 6, Coordinate Geometry. Chapter 7, Statistics. Chapter 8, Circular Measure. Chapter 9, Differentiation. Chapter 10, Solutions of Triangles. And Chapter 11, Index Number. How to solve a problem? First, you need to understand which topic or subtopic, what information has been given, what is to be found. Secondly, you need to plan, choose suitable strategy, choose or use the correct formula. And thirdly, do, carry out the calculations, graph sketching, or creating tables. And fourthly, check. Is the answer reasonable? Or is there any other methods? In order for you to understand, plan, do, and check, you need my mapping of each chapter. Let's start with chapter one, functions. Functions. Under relations, we have representations. Arrow diagram, order pairs, and graph. For terms, you need to know elements of domain, co-domain, objects, images, and range, and types of relations. That is one-to-one, -one, many to one, one to many, and many to many. Under types of relations, there's only one to one and many to one are identified as function. As for function, you need to know the notation. Condition for the for the existence and how to solve problems given. After functions, you should be able to look for composite functions. Given function f and function g, you should be able to look for function gf. If function gf and function f are given, you should be able to look for function g. Similarly, if you are given function gf and function g, you should be able to look for function f. And from relation of one to one, we only get inverse function due to its condition. You must know the way to find inverse function. 
and finding functions from inverse function given. This is how it looks. Function, inverse function. Lastly, it's absolute value of functions. Means all the images should have positive sign. Chapter 2. Quadratic Equations Quadratic Equation AX squared plus BX plus C equals to 0. And remember, A is not equals to 0. And methods of determining, determining roots of quadratic equation. First, substitution method. Second, inspection. Third, trial and improvement. The fourth, factorization. Fifth, completing the square. And last, quadratic formula. And for conditions of types of roots, two different roots when the d when the discriminant b x b squared minus four a c is greater than zero. Two equal roots when the determinant b squared minus four a c equals to zero. No roots when the determinant b squared minus four a c less than zero and two real roots when the discriminant b squared minus 4ac is greater or equal to zero as for formation of quadratic quadratic equation it is x squared minus x SOR plus POR equals to zero, where SOR is sum of roots and it is negative B over A. POR stands for product of roots, which is C over A. Chapter 3 Quadratic Functions Quadratic Functions fx equals to ax squared plus bx plus c, where a is not equals to zero. For the quadratic functions, when the value of a is greater than zero, then it should be a U-shaped graph. Where else? For the quadratic if function, where the value of a is less than zero, it should be a N-shaped graph. As for turning points, in order to determine the turning points, the quadratic if functions need to be rewrite in terms of completing the square. From the completing the square, we will see that the turning point of graph 
A is greater than zero is a minimum point, negative P, Q. Where else for the quadratic function for A is less than zero, the turning point will be a maximum point. Negative P, Q. Solutions of quadratic inequalities. As for the value of a is greater than zero when the quadratic function is greater than zero, the value of x will be less than the root on the left and will be greater than the root on the right. If the quadratic function is less than zero and the solution value of x should be in between the roots This is how the graph look for two different roots when the dis discriminant bx squared minus 4ac is greater than zero. For the value of a, which is greater than zero, should be a u-shaped graph. Whereas for a, which is less than zero, it is a N-shaped graph. P and Q shows the two intercept, show the two X intercept. Whereas for two equal roots, the discriminant is equal to zero, we will see only one X intercept. As for no roots, where the discriminant is less than zero, there should be no x-intercept or no roots, where the graph is above the x-axis for value greater than zero or below the x-axis for the graph of A is less than zero. Chapter 4. Simultaneous Equations For simultaneous equations, first, identify the two unknowns involved in the situation and represent the two unknowns with suitable symbols. Step 2. Form 2 equations based on the information given in the situation. Step 3. Make one of the unknown as the subject of the equation. Step 4. Substitute the subject equation into the nonlinear equation. Step 5. Solve quadratic equations obtained. Finally, step 6. Substitute the solution into the linear equation to obtain the value of the other unknown.
chapter 5, Indices and Logarithms. Indices and Logarithms. First, let us look into indices. The fundamental a to the power of 0 equals to 1. A to the power of negative n equals to 1 over a to the power of n. A to the power of 1 over n is equal to n root of a. Whereas for the law of indices, multiplication of index notation with the same base, we add up the index. Division of index notation with the same base, we minus the index. Index notation raised to the power, we multiply the index. A times B raised to power of N is equal to A to the power of N times B to the power of N. A over B raised to a power of N is equal to A to the power of N over B to the power of N. Second part, logarithms. The properties. Log base A Y equals to X can be written in index form. A to the power of x equals to y. Log base a, a equals to 1. Log base a, a to the power of x is equals to x. Log base a, 1 is equals to 0. Law of logarithms. Log base a, m times n equals to log base a, m plus log base a n. Log base a m divided by n equals to log base a m minus log base a n. Log base a m to the power of n is equals to n times log base a m. Log base a 1 is equals to zero. Changing base. Log base A B is equals to one over log base B A. Log base A B is equals to log base C B over log base C A. Then you need to be able to solve question given for indices and logarithms. Chapter 6. Coordinate Geometry For coordinate geometry, you need to know distance between two points, division of a line segment, area of polygon, and gradient. Let's look into distance between two points. Formula used will be square root of x1 minus x2 squared plus y1 minus y2 squared. And you need to master equation of loci For division of a line segment, you need to master the formula of midpoint, which is x1 plus x2 divided by 2, y1 plus y2, divided by 2 for coordinate x and coordinate y. Division of a line segment by ratio m to n. 
n times x1 plus m times x2 over m plus n will be the coordinate for x. n times y1 plus m times y2 over n plus n will be the coordinate for y. For gradient, formula for gradient will be y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2 or negative y intercept over x intercept. With this information, you should be able to form equation of a straight line. y equals to mx plus c is in the form of gradient form. ax plus by plus c equals to zero is in the form of general. x over a plus y over b equals to one is in the intercept form. Points of intersection of two straight lines. Then we go on to parallel lines where the gradient of the first line is equal to the gradient of the second line. For perpendicular lines, the gradient of the first line multiply the gradient of the second line, will be, you, you will get 1. With the above subtopics, you should be able to solve problems involving coordinate geometry. Chapter 7 Statistics For statistics, there will be two types of data. One is ungrouped data. The second one is grouped data. Of this data, you should be able to determine the measures of tendency, which is mean, the middle point, mode or model class, which is the value or the class interval with the highest frequency, and median. Median is the middle position when the values of the set of data are arranged in order. Sometimes, when we analyze a few sets of data for comparison, the measure of central tendency may not provide us with enough information. We may want to know more about the patterns of distributions of this data. These measures include range, which is the difference between the largest value and the smallest value. inter quarta range, where it is the difference between the third quartile and the, third, and the first quartile. And variance. And last but not least, standard deviation. These chapters involve lots of formula. Please make sure you master all the formulas to score.
Chapter 8 Circular Measure For circular measure, you need to recall the properties of a circle such as arc, minor sector, major sector, chord, minor segment, major segment. First of all, you need to know how to convert degree, angle in degree, into radian. And angle in radian into degree. One radian is equal to 57.29 degree. And one pi radian is equal to 180 degree. For the length of an arc, formula S equals to R theta is used. R refer to the radius of the circle. Theta is the angle at the center measure in radian. As for the perimeter of segment for the shaded region is given by 2R sine theta over 2 plus R theta. To look for the area of a sector formula used is A equals to 1 over 2 R squared theta. Again, R is the radius of the circle. Theta is the angle at the center measure in radian. For area of the segment for the shaded region, formula used is 1 over 2 R squared theta, which is area of the sector, take away 1 over 2 R squared sine theta, which is Chapter the area nine. of the differentiation. Differentiation. First, Concept of limit. Secondly, differentiation by first principle. Differentiation of polynomials function. Differentiation of function using formula. Differentiating function comprising of addition or subtraction of algebraic terms. Differentiating a product of two polynomials. Differentiating a quotient of two polynomials. Differentiating composite function. Determining turning points using differentiation. Where for turning point, 
the gradient function is equal to zero or using second derivative. Second derivative is less than zero, then fx has a maximum point. If second derivative is greater than zero, then fx has a minimum point. Determining the equation of tangent to a curve. y minus y1 over x minus x1 equals to dy dx. Determining the equation of the normal to a curve. y minus y1 over x minus x1 equals to negative 1 over dy dx. Determining the rates of change by using chain rule dy over dt equals to dy over dx multiplying dx over dt. Determining small change or approximate change, del y. Del y equals to dy over dx multiplying del x. Determining approximate value, mu y. Mu y equals to original y plus del y. Chapter 10. Solutions of Triangles For triangle A, B, Sign C, rule. given two angles and one side, we or may apply given two sine sides rule. and one angle. Sine A over A equals to sine B over B equals to sine C over C or A over sine A equals to B over sine B equals to C over sine C. For cosine rule, given three sides or given two sides and one included angle. B A squared equals to B squared plus C squared minus 2 times B times C cos A or B squared equals to A squared plus C squared minus 2 times A times C cos B or C squared equals to A squared plus B squared minus 2 times A times B cos C. For area of triangle, given two sides and one included angle, area equals to 1 over 2 times A times B times sine C, or area equals to 1 over 2 times B 
times C times sine A. Or area equals to 1 over 2 times A times C times sine B. Chapter 11, Index Number. Index Number can be calculated by using quantity at a specific time, Q1, over quantity at base time, Q0, multiplying 100. Price index tell us how the price changes over a fixed period of time. Price index I equals to Price of item at a specific time, P1, over price of item at base time, P0, times 100. The Composite Index The Composite Index, I but is the value of average price index, which means that the combination of all the indices with its weightage. I bar equals to total of index number of price index with its weightage over total weightage. Ms. Gunn hopes that the sharing of the above 11 chapters mind mapping will help you in your revision. Hope to see you in Ms. Gunn's next video. Bye!